All right, so we have an interesting turn of events here regarding Brennan Schaub, Mark Harley, and all that drama. You know, as Mark's been doing this whole Brennan Schaub exposed tour, he's really had nothing negative to say about anyone else he worked with or any other comedian he met while he was working with Brendan. But it looks like that's changing, and he had something to say about Andrew Schultz, or he had a story to tell about him that doesn't paint him in the best light. And actually, a lot of people on the Fight and the Kids subreddit had to take Brendan's side on this. So this was pretty surprising, and I don't think people really expected this, but obviously they still love it. You know, any inside knowledge about the comedy scene, they're here for it. So let's see what he had to say. He said, warning, this story isn't designed to make Brendan look bad. That could be your interpretation, but it also gives you some insight into Schultz's brain that's not flattering. So Brendan had an idea for a Gringo Poppy promo video. He wanted to essentially make a parody of the Dave Chappelle promo with Morgan Freeman, where they're driving in the truck and Freeman is doing VO and Dave gets annoyed and reveals he's actually next to him in the truck. So for Brendan's version, he hired Bruce Buffer at a friendly rate, but still 10k plus. I think for the day, plus production expenses, whole thing was estimated to be 15k. The concept is virtually the same. Brendan's driving through the hills of Calabasas as Bruce hypes up his special in his patented voice and terms. The shoot goes great. Didn't get to see the final product, but by all accounts, it was just what Brendan wanted. This was closer to when Chappelle released his special, July 2022, as Brendan was initially going to release it in the fall, so it would still be somewhat fresh in people's minds apparently word got back to schultz not long after the shoot not sure how he texted brendan like it was an emergency very urgent and demanding like text me back asap urgent i remember the word urgent was used he texted twice because brendan was shooting cats and didn't respond immediately so after the episode wraps he steps into another room at thick boy to call schultz he picks up the phone red hot and this is mark's best recollection of what happened you know it starts with schultz here and it's just going back and forth between him and brendan so andrew says we got a problem Brent responds huh you stole my idea what Bruce Buffer dude yeah he's been going around the country opening my shows and is on my special Brendan says dude relax this is a totally different idea and then Andrew says you can't use the promo and Brendan says what the f first of all I just spent 15k on this I'm not just gonna dump it because you're upset secondly if anyone had claim on Bruce Buffer it'd be me he used to announce my fights and I've been friends with him for longer then apparently Andrew says, you don't want this smoke. And Brennan says, excuse me, you don't want this smoke. This set Brennan off, I think rightfully, as it comes off as a threat of some sort. And then Brennan responds and he says, put me on speakerphone. I will beat the crap out of you and everyone else in the effing room who's listening into this call. Then Mark says, whoa, no, no, I didn't mean it like that. I meant you don't want these problems from the comic community when they see you stole my idea. And then Brennan says, I don't think everyone would side with you. Andrew says, well, everyone in this room does. I think he had other members of Flagrant 2 chime in and they said, yeah, it's idea theft. So then Brendan goes into the King and the Sting room and asks all the guys there. Brendan explains the situation. Delia says, no, nah, that's effing stupid Schultz. Theo says, man, F Schultz. So then Schultz responds. He says, okay, well, we got to figure this out. Brendan says, yeah, you know what? How about we go to a neutral third party? We can ask Rogan for his opinion. Of course, they have to go to Rogan. Schultz says, okay, but whatever he says goes. And then Mark says, my recollection is they got off the phone, laid out to Rogan, and he he says, well, I understand both sides, but you're trying to get Brendan to do something he doesn't have to do. So how about Brendan? You don't air the promo, but Schultz has to pay you the 15 for production costs. They agree. Schultz never pays Brendan. That seems to be the start of some tension. So this is a pretty wild story. And obviously some people have some questions, which we'll get to because this does sound too good to be true. You know, if this is all true, it's hilarious. Like apparently Brendan, he steals this idea from Dave Chappelle, but then Andrew Schultz gets mad and acts like Brendan's stealing the idea from him just because he's also working with Bruce Buffer and then of course they have to go to Rogan to resolve everything he's probably just laughing like the whole thing is so ridiculous but I really wouldn't put it past them you know these comedians sound like they have huge egos but again like I said people are questioning this which you probably should you shouldn't just believe everything Mark's saying but also for Mark to make up this whole story something that Brendan or Andrew could easily refute and it would destroy Mark's credibility it would be a very strange move for him to just destroy everything he's been talking about you know then it's like all right how are we going to believe anything he said about Brendan at this point if he's going to make up a giant lie like this so I feel like there probably is some truth to this but I'm sure there is more to the story you know I think Mark's just given his side or what he thinks happened you know I doubt Mark even heard the whole phone call. I'm sure he's just kind of speculating on things. But, you know, somebody said in the comments to this post, they said, we should try and get this confirmed or debunked, and that will be the deciding factor on if Mark is actually airing his grievances or just lying for clout. This whole story, especially the resolution, sounds AI-generated. That's true, it does. 
And then Mark says, please do. If either side proves anything false or convincingly denies this roughly accurate version of events, I'll delete my Reddit account. And then there's somebody else questioning this. They said, this sounds a little too scripted. Mark says, well, that's my honest recollection of the events. I could have made the convo go longer. Andrew was conveyed as more angry and upset than I may have portrayed, but I don't remember too many exact quotes besides that you don't want smoke and F. Schultz by Theo. It is retelling or one side version, but it's accurate to my memory. So also, I know Schultz follows the fight and the kids talk about it a little bit. I've heard him talk about it on some podcasts. So maybe he felt like if Brendan did this, the subreddit would probably rip him apart for it and they compare it to what Andrew's doing. Maybe Andrew thought that would be a bad look for him or something like that. And also maybe Andrew explained that to Brendan when he had him on the phone. Like when he said, you don't want problems with the comic community when they see you stole my idea. Because, you know, I don't think comics would really care. They probably wouldn't even notice. But the fight in the kids subreddit probably would. They'd probably make the comparison. So maybe Andrew was using that to try to get Brendan to not release it. You know, he could just be like, listen, dude, I'm looking out for your best interest. I know if you post this, they're all going to go nuts with it and say, you're just copying me, even though he is copying Dave Chappelle. So, you know, the whole thing is just so goofy. But again, I wouldn't put it past him. And I'm sure we'll get the truth eventually, because even though the story doesn't make Brendan look bad, it would still benefit him if he could prove that Mark's making all this up, because then Mark loses all his credibility. People wouldn't know if they could trust him anymore. He said he'd delete his Reddit account. So if Brendan can prove that this never happened, it would definitely benefit him. He could get Mark to stop going after him. So also, after this whole story, like this whole beef between Brendan and Andrew, Brendan still went on Andrew's podcast to promote his comedy special right after it came out. But Andrew, you know, if you remember, Andrew brought up the truck walk, which I'm glad he did, but maybe he was doing it because he wanted to make fun of Brendan a little bit and take some shots at him. And then also, he didn't even put Brendan's face in the thumbnail, and he didn't put Brendan in the title, which I definitely think is a passive-aggressive shot at him. I mean, come on, that's pretty insulting. Like, he'll put everyone else in the thumbnail, but then he has Brendan on, and he just hides him, basically. And then he has Joe Biden in the thumbnail, so it's definitely a shot at Brendan. And, you know, maybe Andrew just somehow convinced Brendan after that whole beef. You know, maybe he's like, you know, I'll make it up to you. Come on my podcast and you can promote your special. You know, it'll help out a lot. Even though Andrew, it sounded like he never paid him for the whole Bruce Buffer promo video. Maybe he's like, I'll do this in return. This will help you out a lot more. But then Andrew basically blindsided him and brought up the truck walk. So after that, I'm sure Brendan was pissed at Andrew. I doubt they're cool anymore. Even though Andrew, I think after that, he did like defend Brendan on some podcasts. And he's like, oh, Brendan's a good dude and all that. So maybe he feels bad now or something, but I don't know. Hopefully somebody comes forward and confirms or denies the story. Like this makes Schultz look pretty bad. And like I said, he follows the fight in the kids' about it. And I'm sure he's heard about this or he will hear about it. I'm sure people are going to be talking about it. So if it's not true, he'll probably want to address it, but we'll have to wait and see. Let me know what you guys think about it all down in the comments, then hit the like button, and then make sure you check out my Patreon. I'll put a link in the description. I have a bunch of exclusive videos on there, and then hit the subscribe button here, and I'll catch you at the next video.